welcome to the Beloco training video. Today's training video is going to teach you how to cut green peppers for a fajita veg mix. First step is you're going to cut off the top and the bottom. Only about half an inch of each. Set these two pieces aside. We'll cut those up later. You might have a stem piece that falls out. Discard that. From here, you can see straight through the pepper, and there's a center seed capsule right in the center. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fillet that out. So this is called the fillet cut of the pepper. Set it on a flat edge, slice down the side, turn the pepper on its side, and using your knife, we're gonna press it up against the board, parallel to the board, and fillet that seed pocket out of the pepper. Just like that. This way, the seeds don't go all over the board. You don't have to try and clean them up. They don't get mixed in the fajita veg. It's nice, clean, neat pile of seeds. Discard this. What you're left with is top and bottom and a fillet cut. You'll still have some of this white membrane left on the pepper. You can go through, just pressing, using the knife, pressing down, just clean this out. Right. And discard this. The reason we take this out is that it'll get bitter and it doesn't have the same flavor profile as the rest of the green pepper. Split the green pepper into chunks. You can stack two, two pieces directly on top of each other and slice through. When you're slicing peppers, always slice through the flesh side first not the skin side. So skin side should be face down. The reason for that is that the skin will dull your knife faster and it's more dangerous when it can slip off of the skin. So you're gonna go through the, the flesh first, the skin face down on the board. Each cut go for is about a quarter inch. It should be approximately the same size as the red onion that we're gonna cut and goes in the fajita veg. It should be approximately about the same size as the red onion that's in the fajita veg as well. This will ensure that they cook evenly at the same time. Now you're left with the top and the bottom. My recommendation is to use the top for your black beans. Chop them up, mix them into that recipe. That's a great way to get rid of them. Should you already have enough green peppers for your black beans and you don't need them, you're welcome to slice them and put them into your fajita veg. The bottom slices up beautifully for the fajita heat of edge as it is. See the bottom slices up just as well, about the same size, no problem there. The top gets a little bit, little bit trickier because of the different sizes. So we're going to slice this way, slice this way, and then these are going to get sliced the opposite direction. That's green pepper.